Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. I'm going to head on over to Andy's. I haven't taken you over there in quite a while. So, uh, Aaron texted me and said he was heading over there, so I thought I'd head over there. Why not? So, let's let's go see, uh, let's go see Andy's store, because I don't think I've taken you guys in there since he remodeled it. So, let's go look at it. What the heck, man? Uh, let's, let's roll. here and I haven't uh, pulled up to this with you guys in a while and the last time we went into that door right there but we don't because we got to go all the way down to that door now because the shop is that much bigger so let's go in so, like I said this is where we used to go in we're not gonna do that no more we're gonna go all the way down here bigger and that's where the cars are yeah. oh hey there's Aaron and you know what we say to Aaron everyone shut, shut up, up Aaron. Aaron thanks so much hi Andy there's the star of you know that other YouTube channel the one we don't really worry about Stay so much <laughs> what's going on Aaron just coming down to my local favorite hobby store see what freebies I can get yeah well no we're dealing luck. with Andy so there's no freebies involved <laughs> Are you going to give me a deal today? Yeah, sure. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm probably not going to buy anything anyways. When do you ever buy anything? I don't buy anything. I see you're empty-handed. I got a phone. Oh, okay. Well, see, Andy, the last time that I came in here with a video recorder, ooh, that's old terms, huh? <laughs> uh, the store was much smaller, so I thought... We come down and take a look at the store the way it is. Excellent. Yeah, I was gonna say that is that from like the 1990s? Something like that. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah, so let's take a look. Aaron, do you care yes. to walk around with me? Absolutely. You want you want to show me the place? No. You be the you be. Come on. You're, sure. You're the guy that. Uh, I don't know nothing about this place. All right. Well, let's get over to the accessories. Perfect. All righty. Forget about that stuff. Oh, but Star Wars is cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, anyways. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna, gonna have to have a talk later. This is some of my favorite stuff, actually. Really? Yeah. What do I was you use? Tell, uh, use it all. I use it all. I've got his. Got the Tamiya sprue cutters. Yeah. Um, you know, I need to get those because everybody says I should have them. I actually, I, I bought these, which I thought were just really great because you just open, you just slide that clear plastic thing over to the size that you want. You don't lose all the rest of them. You slide the the bit out, and it stays in there. It keeps all the rest of them in. So it's just you know it's just a handy thing when you're using it a lot. And you need all the help you can get. You got that right. <laughs> so um, what's the sprue cutters? The, the, which ones did you get? Sprue cutters. You I can't get them right now. Don't think you. Oh, it, Oh, the, the Tamiya stuff, right? Uh, it's been gone for about two or three months, and it's not coming back for a couple more months. Yeah. We are, and I'm, I was just telling Aaron, too, I'm running out of, you know how much paint I have in the back room. Yeah. Even I'm starting to go through certain colors that I can't get in. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be a while. So, that's it, guys. If you can grab your paint now, grab it. The brushes, I've, I bought a lot of different brushes. I haven't these tried are, these AK brushes, have you? I actually yeah, need to get some more they're brushes. They're really so. good. They're really nice. I'll they try them out. There's all different assortments for, for different purposes. Um, you and I both know these are yes. the absolute best. I've talked about that a bunch on the channel. In lieu of being able to find these at, at uh, Michael's craft shops or whatever anymore, which you can't find them, um, these are the absolute best for for uh, sanding purposes. Yeah, definitely. And Andy definitely, he keep, he's he been keeping up on that. But, you know, mm -hmm. again, Tamiya product, Tamiya products, and... Uh, mm -hmm. And we're gonna run out of that, and when right. when it's gone, we're gone. They're, they're right. already gone, actually. They're yeah. We haven't had those for a while now. Wow. So, yeah, that's a good tip. Just yeah. you know, if you have those, if you have access to them, get them, stock up on them because they're not real. Yeah, that's a good thing I am stocked up because right. I'm trying to think of. I might have to do some to me a paint buy in here. With yeah. What's left. I tell you, this is something that I got real excited about. Yes. I've already talked about. Yes. You too, you know? It's yes. so cool that he is carrying... Uh, Love that stuff. Carrying this... Uh, CY. Uh, 
Yeah, this stuff. is the, uh, the the Bob Smith industry stuff. I've right. I've already boasted about right. it on the channel, and it's it's just a. Uh, and he doesn't have the Uncure, although I did try that. He had some. I was going to buy some. Works and great. Yeah, stuff works great. It does. I was yes. thinking of getting it. It works absolutely fantastic on that. Yeah, this I don't have um, any. The accelerator. Yeah. Here's, I, here's another one. Yeah, I might have to buy a bottle the of that somewhere. Accelerator uh, is a must need if you're using C8. Oh yeah, Lose definitely. Some. I, I, I usually like to stock up on the tips. Yeah, I've got a few for, of them. For They're these, handy. Because you don't have to seal it every time. And when the tip gets clogged up, you just cut the end off. Yep, and then when you're all the way down to the end, you put another one on. Yeah. And it also saves your glue. It keeps it from mm -hmm. going back. But one thing I've noticed is some of the other uh, CA glues I was getting that I was, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I never use a whole bottle. That stuff seems to keep a little better. Yeah, I've never been a fan. Zappos. Sorry. It works, yeah, just yeah. not very well. Not and then we well. still got our Tamiya, which, again, I might have to get... It looks like... I can't remember what I'm low, <laughs> low on. I might have to grab one more of these before they're gone. I think it's... Yeah, this is the one I'm... I'm I like this stuff. And it's yeah, getting, and Matt's not going to use it to uh, seal his decals again. You never know. <laughs> you never know. I found something. It works. All right. This well, seems it to be work, very but. popular with a lot of folks on our really on the on the Facebook page yeah the, the classic test is tube glue it's all here I know you know he's always been getting this and he, and he always sells it it's I haven't used it since the no, 70s no, I still sell that. I I, just that box today. oh I know I've always seen it's it good you, when you're on a break don't judge me just okay saying. yeah I that, that explains a lot he yeah. does <laughs> All right, so um, the paints. The Tamiya, the Tamiya tapes, again, yeah. the masking tapes, the, the, the paper stuff, which is really nice. It's fine. It's low tack. Um, the vinyl stuff for complex curves. Yeah, the vinyl stuff is a must-have, especially the really thin one if you want to do some, yep. some cool graphics. Right. And it's all good stuff. Exactly right. And uh, Andy's got all this all. all. I do mean all. Yeah, I'm, I'm like I'm running into <laughs> paints. If you guys watch his channel, you this is what you see in the background when he's you know talking his stuff. Blah 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 stuff about you know armored stuff. Yeah, whatever. But uh, here's a closer props, look. Forget to give props to Darth Vader helmet. Mm -hmm. I saw that in your last video, this sitting up here. I never noticed it before. Because it just put up there a couple days ago. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my son's from when he was little. Oh, no kidding. Good move. Yeah, he's, yeah, you can see the, the Tamiya stuff is thinning out. And I got to do some Tamiya paint buying. But yeah, he's, you know, it's, of course, the well stock. You're some of the, mm -hmm. if you've seen any of his, uh, Videos, guys. These, these were all in his videos. These three models he built, model cars. He's got videos of those three builds, mm -hmm. and and that motorcycle, and of course, all this other all garbage. Tanks. <laughs> we're kidding. We like it. We like tanks. And the tank guys. You know, this value gear stuff. Steve, he's a great resin caster. Great stuff. Very cool good dude. detail. Yeah. Really great detail. As a matter of fact, you know, I've looked at some of his stuff, and some of it could be useful on. Doing a diorama with our our garbage, and then here's his section for doing your uh, your dioramas, dioramas. Which I'm going to be doing a diorama of a ray shop, and it's going to have landscaping and stuff. So I'm going to be getting some of this stuff. Use it many times. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Yeah. I mean, there's all this and stuff, a but more paint just to put a period on the end of that. There's all the ships. <laughs> He just he just got these donated to him. Yeah, he was telling me about these uh, great cases. So unbelievable. We'll, yeah, I know it, de it definitely helps the the viewing of the model too. All the ships. Something I just saw, which just drove me. Oh wow! Wild. <laughs> the classic, one of my love favorite it. movies. Love it. I loved that movie as and a the, kid. The I know little... that one. I saw. I have the model of the of the tripod without legs from the fifties movie, and here's a model. I'm actually working on right now. I got one of these. I got to get that and hang it on my wall. So. Good morning, Dave. <laughs> Put Sorry. me down, Aaron. Okay. <laughs> 
and shut up. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, this right here, my son-in-law was interested in this. I'm, I was actually thinking of picking this up. Hmm. So he thought that was cool. Because he's a gamer and, you know, all that other stuff. Right. Tons of Gundam. And Gundam more. is very, very popular. And more. Just gobs of it. Gobs. Um, you know. And we could get into this stuff, but you know, who's interested in model cars? Nobody right. nobody cares. Loser. <laughs> and down here, all the airplane section. Right. If you're interested in airplanes, he's got this whole section is airplanes. And we go over here and the end caps. And end caps over here. That's the old door you saw in the earlier videos that we used to walk through and this wall right here, that was the wall that, uh, you know, and, and Andy would be here. And in some of those videos that I'm probably showing clips of right now, this is where we walked in. Mm -hmm. And this is where we'd conduct the business. And that was that was the store and all back there. That was pretty much the store. You can see the, the wall that got cut open to expand the store. And this is where, when we walked down <laughs> over here, was where the uh, model car section was when I bring you guys down that way and this is where the paints and the tools used to be and now he's got this big open space that when the world goes back to normal we hope to start having little little get togethers little and other things and that's what that was all for getting together with other models. and Andy's getting a really neat thing set up in here that you know people send him stuff from all over the world and he's gonna make like kind of a Andy museum it'll be cool mm -hmm. but yeah model cars we don't care about that right now Indeed. We'll save that the best for last. And then down this side, here's all the uh, the armor and scenery, scenery and stuff, diorama, diorama stuff. Figures. And there's there's more armor over there. That's the thing. He's got, mm -hmm. you know, it's just he's got a large chunk of everything, everything yeah. that's needed to have a good, well stocked hobby store, model stock. You, and you see that's that's all he he caters to is just really plastic kits. There's no RC, no trains. Mm -hmm. Not that that's a bad stuff, but you know, that's probably what's helped keep him going is that he, that he stays centralized on a subject. Indeed. Agreed. You know, just, and keeping it well stocked and having things. And, okay, Aaron. Let's go. You, you can take me to, the, oh to what really everybody okay. wants to see. Well, there's all the... Here's all the auto. Here's yeah. all the model It goes cars. from that end. A lot of Tamiya to over, over there. there. Aoshima's. Um, yeah. Trucks. And pretty much everything that's out is here. Yeah. yeah there's a well stocked model shop. Right there it is. Absolutely. Yeah. And even this. This is kind of cool. He, he's been selling a lot of these. All these different uh, wheel kits from Aoshima bought a set of them which I don't see here anymore but they uh, they're absolutely great yeah they are they are really high quality and a bicycle <laughs> but even these Elishma kits he gets these in every once in a while he got a whole ton of them they sold like yeah. crazy uh -huh. and uh, for you uh, Silvino JR fans he's been carrying this and for anybody out there this is a long gone kit he's got it sitting here Wow. That thing ain't around no more, and it's pretty, pretty wanted. And, and Selvino's JR, they're not going to be popping it out anytime soon. They're going to be doing O's. They got a new O's meal coming out, but not with the Hawaiian Tropic details. Oh, wow. okay. So, and we've got all the other stuff. Right. And we come down here. Ooh. Yeah, I was looking at that. I think that's in 24th scale. Yep. It is. And then. Right now, Tamiya is just not pumping out the cars like they used to. I'm really hoping that they start. I, I would love for them to put out some old stuff that they had. Mm -hmm. Like I say, the Julia. If they bring back the Julia. Look at all the, at all the truck stuff. I mean, yeah. it's just amazing how much. He's got a pretty big, um, well, not big, but a pretty secure truck builder. Uh, this. Truck builders that come in here and buy also, kits pretty consistently. So. That's a new one. Here for a little bit, yeah, but um, yeah, it's but that's nice. that. 
Holy cow. All right, there's, ah, almost, almost died. And then, I, I gotta get this kit. I just wanna get that. But that, that, you know, before it was the white version, Papa truck, but now it's a hideout, hideout truck. truck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just nice. a good hauler. Yeah. So there's, you know, you've got the, Oh yeah, some round two. I think these round two's are the round been doing two those releases of the of those. Which that's that if you if you need that for a, a garage diorama. Exactly. Speaking of garage, he had mm -hmm. the uh, he probably sold it. Every once in a while, it comes in is that uh, which I have one. I want to make a diorama out of that that Texaco gas station, or it's like oh, yeah. Joe's gas or something. Yeah. Yeah. But it seems to be gone. Yeah, it's gone. And then of course these big ones. I did that re review on the uh, right. Jägermeister one. Right there. It's such a phenomenal kit. Yep. Alrighty. So, there you have it. What are you here to buy today? You got a kit you're in mind? You needing a kit? No. Uh, okay. Not yet. They haven't Waiting done. for round two's racer's wedge. Uh, yeah, the ramp truck. It's on the way to come out. I'm gonna get a couple of those for sure for my diorama. The truck is a Chevy. Yeah. Um, like a like a 60, 69 or seventy. Yeah, exactly. And so you can build that if if you want to use the wedge on something else, you can build that one stock. Yeah. Or you can just put it on the. Uh, yeah, that one would be fine. When it comes out, uh, we may have to mm -hmm. check it out. Oh, do yeah. a video on it. Absolutely. Or something. That's yeah. Be fun. So, hey guys, if you're ever in uh, Phoenix or technically this is Glendale, Arizona, you gotta stop by here. You won't be you you won't be upset, and you'll probably leave with something or a few things. Empty pockets. Yeah, you'll definitely leave with empty pockets. Except me, because I never buy nothing. Right. I'll look at it and go, I need this, but I can get that later. But you know, I need another one of these, but not right now. What else do I I got to have? You know, it wouldn't hurt to have another one of these. I only have two. You got this kit. Loser, I got three of these. <laughs> you got three of those? But well, you got this kit right yes. here. Have you built it yet or anything? No, no, no. I'm thinking about getting that one. I just don't I don't really have a need for it, but you never right know. Right now, I just cracked this thing open just Oh, and because... what's your what's your opinion? I have like an old the one of the original versions of that, not in that box art. Yeah. It's It's an AMT <laughs> <laughs> kit from way back when uh the tires they, they they don't at least they don't falsely advertise if you build it stock yeah that's how far the tires are going to come out of this thing um but it's basically um, a funny car chassis with a yeah, with kind of not a quite accurate yeah. vega body i'm never one to i'm never one to leave well enough alone so of course do something with it just not this you never that's know it. but i am going to be trying out a new airbrush of mine um, on that, so that's why. Oh, I cool! It. What airbrush? It's just um, it's one of those ones with, that has the little rechargeable compressor. That oh, you just attach it right I've to. actually it's a heard good feed, stuff. Gravity feed. Gravity and, feed's a big yeah. deal to have. You're gonna if you if you've never used a gravity feed, not you, you're never gonna go back to the siphon feed. You never will. And plus, this one's just got the rechargeable little compressor on the yeah. bottom, so there's no lines, anything like that. It's a dual action. Ah. Um, brush so we're gonna try it see yeah, how it goes definitely all righty then well let's mm -hmm. uh go back up to the front yep let's do so oh, if you were to build a tank what tank would you build <laughs> hmm there's actually a couple um yeah probably this one and stuff. <laughs> That's a good choice I'm for sorry, you. Can somebody help me out on on uh, <laughs> recommending a tank. Let's see. Uh, I I I have to say this is probably yeah this this one or it would definitely be a Sherman and it would be a to me a Sherman as I'm, I'm planning on doing. I think yeah with the at least you know I like the cast body and and cast. I think mine would be a Peabody and Sherman. And there's one more. This is a kit. I actually, I'm going to get this one day. I've wanted to build this thing like forever. 
and uh, I'll probably do it on the channel. It's a it's a model car. Sorry guys. This is true. And it is really got great detail. And that's one that I'm going to get one of these. I actually this built this. Really cool I too. built it once. I think I've shown it. It's kind of shattered. I need to restore this one. But I built this. It was a challenge years ago, Andy, when he had a model club here. And we all built these. And I made it into a civilian uh, tractor trailer. I kind of shortened the wheelbase and put a put a hitch missed, on the back. I must have missed that episode. Uh, you missed a lot of episodes. <laughs> but I, it, it took a header to the floor. Ooh. You know, it was, eh, Denise was, yeah, she was younger good. and she was trying to help dad out and she was dusting my models and all that stuff. And, and that thing was kind of fragile and it took a flight and I wasn't mad at her. She felt right. so bad about it. Right. Back when she, she had sensitivity back then. Yeah. Tigers, I seem to hear a lot about tigers. That's uh, Andy's thing. No you idea. probably hear it from him. No idea at all. Are we making a video? Yeah, I'm going to do one on me as LP paints because there's a chance it might be in, in the next six months to a year. Oh, God. I have been waiting for a year for those. I just want that red so bad. Um, those those paints just... Well, you use them. Yeah, I use them once, a lot. And they... they, they, they yeah, he's, Unbelievable. he's building a model car, everyone. But we're not going to talk about that one right no. now. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. That kit's not out yet, right? No, very can, soon, though. Can, can we see the box art? Can we see the box art? Yeah. I don't know if any of you know about this or, or have seen it on his channel. He did a, a review on the kit itself, and he's taking a shot at building it. This is a new kit coming out from Tamiya. The Senna McLaren. And it is a trippy trippy model kit go over to his channel I'll put a link in the description below you got to check out this model if you really if you're into supercars you're gonna want to get this one because it, it it is a I mean the body is multi-piece it's an intricate Andy's having fun with it right Andy oh yes I am you're fun. enjoying it a lot aren't <laughs> you that. maybe the build video will come out right maybe <laughs> <laughs> at this point I'm not sure but the paints are spectacular. Yeah, he he put a paint on there that is so neat. And it's it was all those new LPs, those lacquer. All the LPs, yeah. Yeah, as you see right there, to me, I sent him a bunch of them. But these are unavailable here in the States. If any of you guys in other countries, you've probably already gotten them. These things are wonderful. So this is technically contraband? No. Yes. To no. Me, to me, it's sent it to me. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's all legal. And it was... <laughs> and it was all, you know, before... The ruckus. <laughs> True. The thing that we don't we don't talk about on YouTube. <laughs> no. Leave this off. And maybe if you, with your guys' help, maybe one day I can have those, huh? Ooh. I want the gold one. That's your next one, huh? Yeah, I got a long way to go. <laughs> I got yeah, a long Andy way to go for that one. You one, okay? <laughs> right. How's that? Yeah. All righty. Well. I've had enough. Goodbye. All right. Woo. Well, there you go. There's Andy's uh, new store. It's kind of been like that for a little over a year, but uh, that was cool. Aaron being there and showing us around. But uh, yeah, you're ever in uh, Glendale, Arizona, just outside of Phoenix. It's on the northwest side of Phoenix. You got to stop in and check this store out. It's a great hobby shop. You know, model car, model, models, models. It's pretty much just the models and all the needs for models. No RC, no crafts, nothing like that. He's kept it like that. That's been his business model, and that's probably been a big thing that's kept him going besides a few other things. But it's been uh, been my go-to store for, geez, we're going on to 17 or 18 years. I, I uh, am definitely blessed feel blessed that i have something like that i can go to i know a lot of you guys don't so maybe we'll do a few more videos some other time annie and i were talking about doing some stuff together on his channel and on mine uh get together and do some talking aaron too you know we want to do some model discussion discussing and so keep a lookout for that stuff i want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching and 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed hit that like button do all that kind of stuff for us it helps support the channel it, uh, it keeping us going we're, we're getting bigger and bigger every day the subs are going up fast that's that's a huge thing that keeps us getting this great content coming out at least i hope you thought this was great content it was it was fun content for me like i said i've been wanting to bring you guys down here and see the store the way it is now it's been like this way over a year but uh yeah you, you get a chance to get out here you got to stop in and he's hobby headquarters and just remember there's a link in the description below if you want to order from him he's got all the supplies and everything just check out that website so thanks a bunch for tuning in thanks a bunch for watching so remember keep gluing those fingers together keep cutting that styrene and we'll see you in the next video all right i gotta get home it's time for dinner I gotta hold I gotta hold the camera so uh